All right, guys, so if you've been following my channel for the past week or so, I've been doing this series following these woke hunger strikers, which uh, include a group of students from Arizona, right? Arizona State University, the University of Arizona. For whatever reason, ASU is always involved in the wokest stuff around the country, right? It's just something about that school, okay? I think they need to up their mission standards, and that will fix a lot of these problems. But um, I've been following their hunger strike, and uh, they're doing a hunger strike for voting rights okay i want you guys to understand there are people out there that are starving themselves over a conspiracy <laughs> that gop voting laws are keeping black people from voting okay i want you to understand that right so um in, in my opinion uh this is very 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 dangerous because they're striking until the democrats can pass their so-called voting rights legislation the freedom to vote act which is their new one and the John Lewis Voting Rights Act. And I've said this time and time and time again. These students participating in this hunger strike is dangerous because they are literally dying for the right to vote, a right that they already have. And this legislation is not gonna pass, okay? So if one of these students actually dies from this hunger strike, in, in my opinion, the Democrats have to take full responsibility for pushing this conspiracy theory on people that has radicalized them to want to do something like this thinking that their right to vote is under attack okay it's super dangerous stuff right i mean as we can see people are literally dying for a right that they think is being taken away from them it's kind of crazy but let's check in on these students to see how they're doing on day five of this strike it really felt like someone was compressing my chest and holding me down in bed that's how difficult it was to get up It is day five of my hunger strike for democracy. My body is the weakest it's ever felt in my life. I just feel numb. I, the first couple days were the most painful. My headaches have stayed the same. Um, I hope that I will continue to feel how I feel right now and it won't get much worse than this, but I'm really not sure how much longer I can't go on for but we are committed to doing this until the bill passes we will not eat until the senate stands up and does what is right and passes the freedom to vote john r lewis act 40 young people started the hunger strike 37 of us are still continuing today on day five mentally it's been a struggle um it's extremely difficult to sleep because of the hunger pains I'm like extremely weak, um, tired through most of the day. Three of our folks have stopped. Someone's pulse went below 40. Someone fainted and we, that's, that's not a good sign. So people are feeling disheartened and disappointed, but resolved. I'm going indefinitely until the bill is passed. It's scary. It's really scary to think that our sacrifice again might not be enough bruh it's not right it's not gonna be enough nothing that you're doing is going to help these bills pass okay your right to vote is not under attack i hope one of these students watches my video your right to vote is not under attack stop please eat something i mean look at this woman's face look at her face bro she's literally dying right in front of our eyes Okay, over a conspiracy. Okay, I mean, this is insane. This is absolutely insane. Okay, um, however, however, uh, there may be hope. Okay, there may be hope because some of these people uh, got arrested outside of the Capitol. Okay, these people that were striking, uh, I believe some other people may have joined these students in this hunger strike and uh, they went to the Capitol steps and now. Uh, 28 of them <laughs> allegedly have been arrested. So let's play some footage from that so you guys can kind of get the gist of, of what happened. Turn me around, oh, turn me around, oh, turn me around, ain't gonna let no filibuster turn me around. 
delusional <laughs> these are delusional democrats okay these dummies are outside in the cold okay B below 30 degrees outside starving themselves getting arrested over uh a right that they already have <laughs> it blows my mind man it really does <laughs> couldn't be me couldn't be me again uh the democrat propaganda is strong because these are some brainwashed individuals i'm telling you <laughs> so let's read here 28 people were arrested outside the U.S. Capitol on Tuesday as a group of college students, faith leaders, and civil rights organizers on a hunger strike demanded that the Senate pass federal voting rights legislation. After months of advocacy and the absence of legislative action, voting rights activists have said they would keep escalating their tactics to make sure their voices are are heard quote this is a desperate time says shanna gallinger the founder and executive director of unpack an advocacy group that launched in march employs student organizers and describes itself as non-partisan what do you mean it's a desperate time uh, how desperate can the times be when more people than ever voted in the last election <laughs> i don't understand more people than ever voted in the last election but they're telling you that times are desperate according to them right they're only desperate because the democrats are about to get swept uh, in midterms right that's the only reason times are desperate for them right that's why they're trying to pass this bill Bro, this is hilarious. The people arrested about noon Tuesday were charged with crossing a police line and with crowding, obstructing, and incommoding uh, under the District of Columbia Code, uh, according to Tim Barber, a Capitol Police spokesman. The Reverend Jesse L. Jackson and William J. Barber II were among about 200 people arrested outside the Capitol in August. Members of the Congressional Black Caucus have been arrested during uh, nonviolent demonstrations, including uh, Representative Shirley Lee Jackson, who was arrested in July outside the Hart uh, Senate office building, and relatives of Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. were detained and issued citations in November for obstructing uh, traffic outside the White House during a voting rights demonstration. Okay, so these people... Uh, they make a habit out of getting arrested, right? They're making a habit out of it, okay? It's a show for them. And I'm going to tell you something. A lot of these people are playing this up as an issue simply to raise money, right? It's a very, very, very strong statement to make when you say that your voting rights are under attack. Your right to vote is under attack. You cannot have a say in this country, right? So what happens is that people, um, they donate money to causes that promise to fix that problem, right? Even though it's not really an issue, people will donate money in order to solve this problem anyways okay that's all this is about it's simply about money right these woke activists are raising money off a conspiracy it's really that simple tuesday's demonstration comes a day after martin luther king jr day when members of the late civil rights icons family march across the newly rebuilt frederick douglas memorial bridge with several hundred other activists and residents and demanded that the senate pass uh, voting rights legislation on tuesday the senate began debating the freedom to vote john r lewis act a combination of bills already passed by the house in a package that would create national rules for parts of the electoral process such as voting by mail and restore the federal government's authority to review certain of uh, states voting laws to prevent discrimination Voting rights advocates are calling for a change in the Senate filibuster so the bills can be passed without meeting a 60 vote threshold, something President Joe Biden endorsed last week in a voting rights speech in which he compared Republican opposition to the legislation to opposition to civil rights bill in the Jim Crow era, right? Those same civil rights bills that the Democrats were opposing during the civil rights era, right? Joe Biden believed that out, okay? He also uh, compared it to 
uh, being on the side of the Confederacy, right? Basically, if you're not for this, then you're on the side of uh, Jefferson Davis, <laughs> right? The Confederacy, okay? Who was also a Democrat-run country, <laughs> right? Again, they uh, tend to leave that out, right? <laughs> But Democratic uh, Senator Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema have said they would oppose attempts to uh, change the filibuster. The protesters on Tuesday included people from West Virginia who are hoping to meet with Manchin, unpacked uh, Gallagher said. OK, so look at this fool, this reverend out here getting arrested. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. The groups at the Capitol were part of two hunger strikes, including college students and recent graduates who were outside the White House last month for an earlier hunger strike calling for the Senate and Biden to enact voting rights legislation. The group of 25 faith leaders on day 13 of their own hunger strike includes the Reverend uh, Stephen A. Green, chairman of the Harlem-based Faith for Black Lives, a coalition of faith members and activists who led protesters in song over the summer as they blocked traffic outside of Reagan National Airport. We intend to become ungovernable if the Senate fails to protect the right to vote because it is that important, said Green, who was one of the protesters arrested on Tuesday. More direct action, more protests in streets, more airport shutdowns because that's what it took to get the first Voting Rights Act to pass. And we know it will take that plus more for us to protect the democracy again. Yeah. So this guy is uh, radicalized. OK, <laughs> he's radicalized. He's brainwashed into, you know, um, Going outside on these steps and doing a hunger strike and, and doing all this stuff for rights that they already have. I guarantee you, 90% or 95% of those people that are doing this voted in the last election. I guarantee you they did. And they had no issues with it. They didn't even have to wait in a long line, right? But they, again, they're doing this because either A, they're brainwashed, right? And they're sheep. Or B, um, they're raising money, right? They're doing it for donations. Imagine all the people sending money to these folks. That are doing this, right? This is just one big money train. That's all it is. You know, I really do hope these people get something to eat. Okay, I really hope you do because if you keep doing it, if you keep waiting, if you keep starving yourself, uh, it's not going to end well because these bills are simply not going to pass. It is what it is. But we'll see. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.